Hey y'all, welcome back to yet another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today by heavy request, I finally got your Barnes 3030 150 grain TSX. And here's the box for that Barnes Vortex 150 grain TSX flat nose 3030 Winchester load. Flipping it around to the back, we've got a little bit of promo information for the X bullet. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Coming over to the side, we've got our stated velocity at 2335 feet per second. We'll see how close we get to that out of the 20 inch barrel of my Marlin 336 Classic. No barrel length annotated on the box anywhere. Let's go ahead and pull this stuff out and take a look at it. Something I do want to point out is it looks like they're using Starline brass, so very high quality brass. Let's yank one out. And here it is. Look at that absolutely massive hollow point on that X bullet. Let's go shoot the stuff and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger made Marlin model 336 classic. It's got a 20 inch barrel. And up top, I've got a Leopold VX3 HD two and a half to eight power scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. This one is an antique brown color. I've got 3030 stamped right in. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And if you're looking for a handmade super thick Latigo leather sling, I've got you covered there too. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tailed deer design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those velocities for that Barnes 150 grain TSX load out of the 3030, minimum 2249, max 2270, average 2262. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Barnes branded Barnes 150 grain TSX load out of the 3030 Winchester. And we did capture all three bullets. Here's one poking out the side of the block. That's how it lay. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and look at penetration. And we have a little bit of variability. This one right here is kissing 21 inches. We've got one right here that's about 26 and a half inches, and this one is a little further. We'll give this one 27 inches. That's pretty darn good penetration. And then look at the expansion. Those pedals folded back and stayed expanded a little bit. They didn't fold back a whole bunch. And that's why we have a little bit better of a wound cavity than a lot of 30-30 loads will give you. And here I came around to the back to look at this bullet right here sticking out of the block. As you can see, that mushrooming, that expansion, it's good size. It's a lot bigger than the you know 308 diameter of the bullet. And that just helps create a nice wound cavity up front, a longer wound cavity rather. Not very exposed, explosive, but just a nice long damaging wound cavity. So there I moved the tape measure so we can take a look a little bit better. It looks like they come in, they don't really start to do much until about one and three quarter inches, maybe about the two inch mark. Then they open up and just give a nasty spiral twist wound cavity all the way back to almost the 13 inch mark. That's nasty. A lot of times your 30-30 Winchester stuff will kind of die off before the 10 inch mark, seven, eight inches, but this went a bit deeper. That's nice to see. Because if it's not gonna be explosive, like a higher velocity round, at least it'll give you a, you know, a long damaging wound cavity, you know, as much as it can, you know, just by virtue of how the X bullet performs. So let's dig these guys out and take a look. All right, the long-awaited Barnes TSX 150 grain load out of the 3030 we shot it. Let's talk about it. Weight retention, 150 grains across the board. Wouldn't really expect anything less out of the Barnes TSX, especially out of a 3030, something that's not, you know, super high velocity. 100% weight retention, excellent. Expansion-wise, we saw 0.56 inches, 0.57 inches, and 0.58 inches for an average of 0.57 inches expanded diameter, and that works out to 1.9X expansion. So real close to that 2X mark I like to see for the 3030. And for a TSX bullet, that's pretty darn good. A lot of times you don't see much more than 1.9X, so I'm really happy with that. 
And also look at the photo of these bullets. The expansion, as is always the case with the TSX, is very uniform all the way around. Velocity wise, our high velocity was 2270, our low was 2250 for an average of 2263 versus the factory build velocity of 2230 or 2335 rather. So we did come in 72 feet per second slow. It is what it is. I've had other loads come in actually faster than box spec out of this same rifle. So make that what you will. Wish it would have been going a little bit faster, but not unsurprising. And then our estimated velocity at impact at 100 yards is 1,924 feet per second. Penetration wise, we saw 21 inches, 26 and a half inches, and 27 inches for an average of 25 inches of penetration. That's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. And kinetic energy wise, with a 150 grain bullet going on average 2,263 feet per second, we're looking at 1,705 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle and about 1,232 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. This is pretty par for the course for the 3030 and 150 grain load. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, so it's time for my final thoughts for that Barnes TSX 150 grain load out of the 3030. Lots of people have wanted me to test it. Well, here it is, it's finally done. I think it did exactly what most of us probably thought that it was going to do. 100% weight retention, really good expansion for a 3030, really good expansion for a TSX. A lot of the time you see, you know, sort of the 1.6 to 1.8x range, sometimes up to 1.9x in most calibers. This we got 1.9x, I can't fault it. The TSX bullet isn't one that typically has real massive, you know, retained expanded diameter. Those pedals do fold back a little bit. Velocity wise, I wish it would have been going a bit faster. I've had other loads that met the spec out of this same rifle. This didn't, which is more par for the course. Usually you don't see it meet the factory spec, but 72 feet per second slow isn't the end of the world. That's, you know, actually more typical than not. And velocity is the last thing that I'm worried about. Penetration wise, pretty good. It would have been interesting to see what penetration would have been had the bullets been going a bit faster. Now, I don't know if it would have penetrated less or more, just would have been interesting to see. But either way, these are right there in the range that I like to see and actually exceed the 20 inch mark that I like to see for medium game hunting, which pretty much all 3030 loads do, or at least most of them do. 3030 is a cartridge that doesn't have trouble in the penetration department. So all in all, if I was looking for a non-lead option, a solid copper monolithic option for hunting out of my 3030, this load would be an excellent choice. I don't have any problems with it. I think it did exactly what it should. If I don't want lead in my meat, this could be a great option. If you've used this load, let me and everybody else know in the comments how you liked it. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.